Be still our 90s love and heart. Melissa Joan Hart once had a thing for Ryan Reynolds. While making an appearance on Hey Dude, the 90s called podcast, the 46-year-old reminisced about her teenage years and admitted that she was interested in Ryan during his time on the Nickelodeon show 15 alongside Chris William Martin, aka Corky Martin. Quote, I dated Corky and then like kind of had a little thing with Ryan. It was all the Vancouver kids. I met Corky in Utah or something at a Nick Takes Over Your School event and we started phone dating from Vancouver to Orlando. And then I worked with Ryan Reynolds on the first Sabrina movie. The first movie we did, Ryan was in it. Ryan played Melissa's beloved character, Sabrina's love interest in the 1996 movie. And of course, they are both now in very happy relationships. Melissa married Mark Wilkerson back in 2003 and the pair share three sons together. Meanwhile, Ryan just welcomed his fourth child with wife, Blake Lively. And the pair who tied the knot back in 2012 clearly love being parents. In November 2022, the free guy actor even had a piece of home with him during a red carpet, which he told Access Hollywood's Scott Evans all about. I'm digging the suit. I'm digging the look, right? We stepped up, we stepped out tonight. I, I, if, you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, there's a bracelet on your arm I want to know a little oh. bit more about. Well, this. My kids made yes. me bracelets, I know, and I would, I would be foolish to not wear them, but... I love Yeah, my daughter spelled dad D-V-D, which I think is weirdly like a double entendre for my job. There you go. I guess. See? Brilliant. 12 years ago, but yeah. Ahead of her time. Right. Ahead of her time. Behind. Okay, well, I guess technically. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it all comes back. Yeah, it's not laser disc. I mean, that would be that something, would be so, laser. yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> iffy there. Um, the, the honor tonight, joining the likes of Clooney, McConaughey, you know what I mean? Would you have ever imagined at the beginning of your career that this would be the room, this would be the fraternity you'd belong to? You know what? I had the lowest of expectations for myself, <laughs> which actually kind of made all of this weirdly... Uh, digestible. I mean, my career was like very sort of slow. I was an aggregate. It wasn't something that was like meteoric. I was never somebody who had this overnight thing. Um, and I'm grateful for it. It's actually helped me keep my head screwed on right. Um, but no, I would never imagine something like this. Even after this event tonight, I will still never imagine something like this is going to happen. So. I love it. It's really cool to also know that some of the people who are involved in your roast tonight, I mean, the toast to you yes. tonight, uh, is Blake's speech going to be roast or toast, do you think? I would guess it's going to be somewhere in between, but it might, I, you, I, she, she run anything by you? No, nothing. But if she's one thing, she's, if she's one thing, she's unpredictable. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, snap. Yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, last question. Brother, the epic holiday photo. Right, yeah. Have you planned, has there been a revenge plot? Can you let well, me in on anything? I'll tell you something, this sweater has turned into a, like, a wild money generator for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto. It is the face of, of their of the Christmas campaign. So I'm super grateful to Hugh Jackman for pranking me with this because it's turned into this beast for good. So that's what this year we have a lot of fun hijinks planned with that sweater for Sick Kids Foundation in Toronto, which is near and dear to my heart. So 